Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back with another edition of Quick Hits. Uh, again, um, and we're going to continue covering the, the, the prospects. We're going to do 140 pound prospect Dalton Smith today. Uh, Dalton Smith was our 3D Boxing uh, prospect of the month uh, for what he did back uh, in the middle of the month, February 13th, I guess, Ishmael uh, Ellis. A spectacular performance. We're going to get into that. We're going to break it all down. We're going to break down what it as well. But before that, please like and subscribe. Uh, like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Um, there you go. Uh, share on all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes out each Wednesday, 8 to 10 minutes. I'll keep you up to date on all the latest in the boxing world. Um, if that's the kind of content you're looking for, again, please like and subscribe. Uh, share on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, but let's get right into it. Dalton Smith. Of Sheffield, Yorkshire, I believe. Um, again, our prospect of the month, um, seven and oh, six knockouts. He's actually won his last six fights all by knockout. Really, really good looking prospect. Um, one of my co hosts on Mixed Combat Radio, Robbie in the UK, says he's the best prospect in all of UK who has under you know 10, 12 fights. Um, look, uh, he's really good. Um, he uh, he's not just a power puncher, right? I mean, look, that's what he at the highest level. He's going to rely a lot on his power. Um, that's what's going to separate him if he's going to be a, a world champion. At the, and, and again, he's far from that, right? Like he's had seven fights, but he looks really good. Uh, we've seen him. We've we've seen him twice now. We saw him in, against Nathan Bennett uh, in Eddie's Garden back over the summer in, in August, I suppose. And. Uh, we're seeing him again now. We saw him again February 13th against Ishmael Ellis, who was a replacement. So we've seen him against Bennett, who was a, a puncher, a come forward fighter. Then uh, Ishmael Ellis, who was off the back foot, uh, a slickster. Um, and he actually looked better against Ellis. Um, he looked okay, you know, uh, I thought, against Bennett until he scored a spectacular knockout. But he got the knockout because that power is real. Like I said, his power is real. Um but he's more than just a power puncher. Um, he's really patient. He's really composed. Um, Ellis started on the back foot, and, and you know you can see that Ellis' game plan was to avoid and, and use the entire ring, avoid um, Dalton Smith, use the entire ring, and, and you didn't see it frustrate Dalton Smith. He stayed composed. He, he has a shotgun for a jab. He used it. He mixed in head and body shots really well. Um, he, he wobbled him in the second round. With a, he wobbled Ellis in the second round badly with a big right hand that about took his head off, uh, made Ellis do a funny dance. And again, um, you know, he, he hit the gas a little bit, but didn't go for broke because he saw that uh, Ellis was wobbled, but he was still in it. Um, and then, then he closed out the show in the third round like a champ. Um, but then they stopped it. This quarter stopped at the third round. Um, you know, Ellis came out in the third round. You could see that he was still very hurt. Um, and I call it patient pressure. You know, uh, Dalton Smith w was applying, you know, patient pressure. Um, and then halfway through round three, he, he stunned badly, um, sent him in the ropes, and then he just he had precision-like right hands all night. And, and and again, Ellis is a step up. He's a decent fighter that took the fight on short notice. But his right hand, uh, Dalton Smith's right hand, was like laser-like. He couldn't miss with it. It was on the button. Um, and then when he went for the kill, he batted him uh, against the ropes for about 10 seconds until the bell came in to save Ellis. Um, and... The corner decided that was enough. Uh, Ellis had taken quite a beating through just three rounds. So, I, I mean, I thought the stop is, I thought the corner did the right thing. Um, and you can check out this all on 3D Boxing Blog. He's our prospect of the month. Go 3D Boxing Blog. Look at our prospect of the month. We just put it up today on March 1st um, for, for the month of February. Um, 
But you can see he systematically breaks you down, and he's like he's not a defensive wizard, but he's a lot better defensively. He looked this fight than he did against Nathan Bennett back over the summer, so he's getting better with each fight. Um, but he's patient, he's composed. He reminds me a little bit of a hundred and forty pound Jamal Charlo uh, when Charlo was when when uh, Big Maul was at one fifty four. You, you, know, you you could see that he was big for the weight class. Um, like I think he's, I, I think Dalton's big for the weight class. Definitely strong for the weight class. Um, and he's looking for knockouts, but it is, he's not gunning for a knockout. Like he understands that the knockout is going to come. The knockout's going to come, and he just needs to keep applying pressure, and he will break. And you saw Ellis break, and you saw Bennett break. So he systematically breaks people down. He goes to the body well. He, he, he's got a little, his nickname is Thunder. He's obviously influenced by a Toro Gaddy. Uh, he's got you know the same nickname. He wears the same blue and white trunks. Uh, he's got the neck tack to it. He fires up his combinations like um, Gaddy. So you can see he's influenced by uh, Thunder Gaddy quite a bit. But Thunder Smith has his own style, uh, and, and it's good. And he's 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 a good box. I call him a boxer puncher slash pressure fighter, right? Because he doesn't throw a zillion punches, although he keeps the jab pumping. Um, he's good. Where does he go from here? I'd like to see him take a major step up. Uh, a couple of names that came to mind. Lewis Ritson, I, I thought was a good fight. Robbie Davis, um, I, I think he can beat those guys. Um, I do, and, and, and I like. I think uh, Italian Alessandro uh, Riccinucci, uh, Riccicini, I'm sorry, Alessandro Riccicini could come down from 147. He said that uh, Riccicini said he would be happy to come down to 140. Um, I think that's a good matchup. Um, I think that's something that can be made um, in, in Europe. Um, a couple Kendo Castaneda from San Antonio, Texas, uh, who, who went the distance um, with Zapeta, um, I, I think would be a fun, stylistic matchup. I think both guys are similar positions in their career, have similar skill sets. I, I think that would be a lot of fun. So I think there's a lot of good fights. For Dalton Smith, I, I I think he can be moved along quickly because, like again, he's not just a come forward slugger. There's there's a lot of skill, um, there's a lot of composure, and he systematically breaks people. He's not just looking for one shot. It kind of looked like that against Bennett, but you saw a lot. You saw him go through the gears. You saw him doing a lot more things that he didn't do in the Bennett fight in this Ellis fight against a guy who I thought would not win. But give him rounds, give him trouble, make him work, and he really didn't. It was it was basically he walked right through him, um, and it was really impressive. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. We'll be back later today with a, a, a preview. Uh, I'm sorry, a breakdown analysis of uh, Jesus Ramos and his win uh, this weekend as well um, on the second part of Quick Hits. Remember, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, eight to ten minutes, two shows a day, Monday through Saturday, and Sunday we do one show. Uh, but Follow us on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, please share, like, and subscribe. Uh, again, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. Um, it is March. It is March 1st, 2021. Uh, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get Iron Boy in the class of 2021. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.